Our topic this morning is cheap versus costly grace. Now we've been looking at Diedrich Bonhoeffer's book, The Cost of Discipleship. It's kind of a guide through these topics. But let me start off with a parable from Matthew 13. This is a parable that Bonhoeffer uses in uh, his reading today. Matthew 13, 44. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again. And then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought the field. Now, the point of this parable is simple. When someone finds the truth, when someone finds the kingdom of God, they'll do whatever it takes to enter it. They will get rid of everything if need be uh, because they cherish it and they will sell everything and go and buy it if you could buy it. But you can't buy it, but the point is you would do whatever it takes to receive it. Now, Bonhoeffer compares for us cheap versus costly grace today. He says this, cheap grace is the preaching of forgiveness without requiring repentance. Baptism without church discipline. Communion without confession. Absolution without personal confession. Cheap grace is grace without discipleship. Grace without the cross. Grace without Jesus Christ, the living and incarnate. On the contrary, costly grace is the hidden treasure in a field. For the sake of it, a man will gladly go and sell all he has. It is the pearl of great price to buy which the merchant will sell all his goods. It is the kingly rule of Christ, for whose sake a man will pluck out the eye which causes him to stumble. It is the call of Jesus Christ at which the disciple leaves his nets and follows him. If you're watching this, you are probably one that has left your net in following Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, Non-believers or people that aren't walking strong usually don't take the time to watch morning devotionals. But I want to encourage us in this, right? Not only for ourselves, but for others. Uh, there's a passage here in James I want to read, James uh, 5.20. It says, Remember this, whoever turns a sinner from the error of their way will save them from death and cover over a multitude of sins. He uses that reference in there of baptism without church discipline, right? Um, and ultimately, that they went... Cheap grace is grace without discipleship. So discipline is really just an aspect of discipleship. So not, discipline's not bad, right? Being disciplined towards something good is part of discipleship, but also correction of something bad, that's part of discipleship. And that's when we're baptized into the church, we're marked by baptism to a body, to the church universal, yes, but usually, usually there's a local body that we're uh, committed to. And those people are called to use their gifts to benefit you and for you to use your gifts to benefit them. And one way we all mutually benefit each other is when we point out the Word of God to each other to help us grow and be sanctified. The Word of God is what sanctifies us. The power of the Spirit through the reading of the Word or hearing of the Word uh, stirs our hearts and we grow more and more in God's grace. So there might be a passage you read yourself that you come across and that convicts you and that sanctifies you as you start to apply it to your life. But another way is someone comes to you with a passage and says, hey brother or sister, um, let me share this verse with you. I think it would be helpful. And they share it with you and you're like, wow, I, I've been missing that. Because we don't know all of the Bible a lot of times, right? There's, there, we don't have every verse in our mind at all times. And sometimes even if we've read it, we're not applying it. And even if uh, we have read it or tried applying it, sometimes we can misapply it. And so I want to encourage uh, all of you out there today that are watching this, to, there's probably someone the Lord's put on your heart that you're like, I wish I could share this with them. This person, I, I don't think they're really getting it. Share that with them. Share it with them in love and gentleness and respect, but go to them with the Word of God. Don't just go to them with your own thoughts or philosophies or, or, or analogies. Go to them with the Word of God and just say, hey, uh, uh, read, read this verse and tell me what you think. And then if they ask you why you brought it up, share with them. All right. And so that's my challenge to you today. Have a blessed day.